Hey guys, so I did a grocery shop and I spent like $180, but I was down to eating three, four-year-old Top Ramen. <laughs> um, yeah, so I kind of got down to like the, the super, super deep storage emergency food type stuff. So I had to do a pretty big grocery shop. So, um, I don't know, it doesn't even feel like it was that big of a grocery shop. It was just a fair bit of meats, um, and nuts. I ended up buying a bunch of nuts. Instead of going to the place where I can get them less expensive, I just got them at the place that I was at. Um, just need to make sure that I feed myself, because though I am sunlight level coming out of depression I still need to make sure that I'm feeding myself the nutrients that help me to fight off my depression and it is coming up into barbecue cookout season so I need to make sure that I am on point in my personal eating so that I can enjoy things when I go to a barbecue does that make sense that makes sense so, um, though a lot of this stuff isn't clean eating, it is no dairy and no gluten. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just get into it. Um, yeah, I don't feel like really talking about how much everything is cost me necessarily, but um, I have... Not that receipt. I have somewhere in here a receipt of. Here it is. Um, so my grand total was one eighty and forty three cents for all of this stiff. So, um, all right. I guess I'll show you guys what all I got. Let's prop you guys up here. I'm rocking my uh, Harper's Ferry shirt. No, it's not Harper's Ferry, Virginia. It's LSD 49. Go Navy. Ooh. Okay, we are significantly dark. Sorry about the wobble. Okay, so let's get into it. I got a melon. Um, it's called Mexican Honeydew. I got two bags of carrots. Uh, each one is, I believe, a two pounder. Two pounds, yep. So four pounds of carrots. They're like a buck each. I remember that much. Um, I got a six pack of romaine. This was five dollars and something. Got alarms going off. It's like one thirty now. Um, I got some grapefruit. I know it's going out of citrus season right now, but um, they smelled really, really good. And they'll be great for chucking into my lunch bucket. Um, let's see. I got some oven roasted turkey lunch meat things. I don't know. They're one pound each. And 30% off of $7.99 was like a buck sixty or something. So I bought three of those. They're gonna go into the freezer. I also got um, a pack of center cut bacon. So it's like bacon medallions. And they'll be good for breakfast sandwiching. Sandwichesing. Um this. I got some meats. I'll share this with my auntie. This is just a, um, I don't know, a chuck steak. Got it in the manager markoffs, the discount section. Um, another pack of meat. These are thin cut beef eye round steak. I don't know what the cuts mean. All I know is that when they're thin, they're easy to cook. I got um, some salmon. Get this into the freezer. 
Mm -hmm. It's already starting to soften up, so that'll go straight into the s freezer. Um, 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 meat, 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 meat. Let's see. I'll put two of these into the freezer. And one to take to my aunt. Aunt. Okay. And these guys are going into the fridge here. I also got... <laughs> I got some gluten-free bread for being able to make breakfast sandwiches. Um, a slice of that bacon and an egg makes a really good breakfast sandwich. I also got some gluten-free great seed bread. My aunt likes the super seedy breads, but she has problems digesting um, the whole to the whole wheat. And almost every type of bread where you get all the seeds has whole wheat in it and it just like tears her stomach up. So I got her a gluten-free because it doesn't have any wheat germ in it. So we'll see how she likes that. Um. I, oh, and then I also got three packs of this. It's just rice cakes. It's no salt. All it is is just puffed brown rice, whole grain brown rice. I figured they'll make good snacks. Um, I have some powdered peanut butter that I can mix up with some um, cocoa powder, cacao powder. Ugh. And then uh, smear that on them. That make a good, good snack. I got a dozen and a half eggs. And like a super wobbly <laughs> egg carton. Put that over there. I got, um, who are these? Fuji apples. And I got avocados. They were going for 88 cents each, so I got 10 of them. Pretty snackerific. So I got to get those put away. Okay. I got some mocha mix, which is dairy free. Yeah, it's got hydrogenated craziness in it, probably. Um, no, it doesn't have any hydrogenated, but it does have carrageenan and has soy in it, so maybe not good for everybody. Um, I got some broccoli florets, frozen. I got some frozen whole green beans. And I got some cut green beans in the discount area. So I got um, two broccolis, two whole green beans, and two of these cut up green beans. Those need to go to the freezer. Freezer, freezer, freezer. Freezer, freezer. Um, okay. I got two packs of unsalted peanuts. I got a bag of gluten-free pretzels. Um, that's the brand there. I don't know if they're good or not. Figured why not try them. And I got a bag of popcorn because I'm out of popcorn. <laughs> now we're at our last bag. I also got a, um, a bat box of wet cat food, um, how you can buy like 32 containers of wet cat food in a box. Now, I know that one was 20 bucks. Um, I bought that because it's coming up on summertime and getting cats to drink water is like getting children to drink water. You have to mix it into all the tasty things. So I got pate because I know that he really eats pate. So it'll be good nutrition-wise and 
um, hydration wise. I got two of these, um, True Lime brand watermelon, and this one is Black Cherry Lime Aid. Yeah, sounded good. And I got um, a little bottle of Neutrogena shampoo. My hair's been feeling really crunchy, and there's a hair lady that I follow um, called Torin Tries, and she talks about using a clarifying shampoo. And I've been looking all over for a clarifying shampoo, but this one's anti residue, so I figured. If it works, it works. If not, I can give it to my aunt. She uses that kind, so we'll see. Um, and then I got this giant pack of cashews. This was like 22 bucks or something for two pounds. Crazy pants. But it's a snack that won't affect my brain super terribly. So... That's it. Um, that's all of the stuff that I bought for $180. Feels like it should be more. But, I mean, I probably bought $40 worth of meat. Um, almost $10 worth of avocados. $5 of grapefruits. Well, five plus of grapefruit, five plus of romaine lettuce, and yeah, I mean, I, it, it's all stuff that adds up pretty quick. I mean, you can three dollar yourself into a pretty high, uh, high pile of <sighs> money due. But anyway, so um, that is what I bought. And uh, any questions? Go ahead and ask. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was 180 and 43 cents or something, I believe, was the total. Yep. All right. Bye, guys.